What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about how you find somebody in GCSS Army by using their DOD ID number. So there's a lot of different ways you can search people. You can use their personnel number, you can use their name uh, as long as you have their birthday if there's multiple people, and you can use the DOD ID number. Now there's no clear-cut way to just actually look somebody up by their DOD ID number. I recently came across this by having to talk to G-Army to see if there's a way to do it. I've heard of people using their email and other ways to search somebody by the DOD ID number, but this is the way that G-Army technicians showed me how to look up somebody by their DOD ID number. So let's jump on the computer and let me show you how this works. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is I had a buddy of mine reach out to me and asked me to research something for him. So this is the process. So I went into ZDF and I went in and found the document number and I can see that the part has been issued. So what you can do is click on the part and then it's going to give you, oh wait, there's not a name there. It's a DOD ID number. So what we do is just highlight that DOD ID number. We're going to copy it and then we're going back out. Now the only way this process is going to work for you is if you have AA rights. So you have to be an access administrator to use this. So we're going to go into our assignment workbench. We're going to search display personnel. And then in this search bar up here, it'll pop up in a second. Equal. As you can see, I've already done it here using this same person. So equal to the letter U as in uniform, two periods, and then their 10 digit DOD ID number. Then you can hit enter. It's going to populate something. And in this case, I have no rights over this person, but it's still going to give me a snapshot of who this person is. So I'm going to click on yes. And then it tells me their name, where they work, and just a bunch of like generic information about that person so that I can locate them because sometimes parts get lost. Sometimes somebody signs for the part incorrectly. So this is how you find it. And then you can go from there. All right. You can see that it's a pretty simple, a pretty simple process. Although you do have to have access administrator rights in order to do this. So if you come across this and you don't have those rights, you can always take that DOD ID number to your access administrator and ask them to look this person up. And if they don't know how to do it, you can point them at this video and show them how it works. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.